Hi, it's Jeannie, the Grizzly Granny. Welcome to the channel once again. On today's recumbent adventure video, Gary and I will be traveling to Colorado Springs, Colorado for a wonderful event called Motorless Mornings at Garden of the Gods. No motor vehicles such as cars and trucks are allowed in the park from 5 a.m. to noon, so the roads are fully accessible to cyclists, skaters, wheelchairs, hikers, pedestrians, and even pets. This event is held twice a year at the Garden of the Gods in the spring and in the fall. So be sure to watch for the next event in the spring of 2024 and join us there. We attended the event on Sunday morning, October 15th of 2023. It was held from 5 to noon, but since we had a bit of a drive to the springs, we arrived around 8.30 a.m. Living in the Rocky Mountains, you learn to dress in layers because if the sun is out in the fall and winter months and there is very little wind, you will be removing layers soon. Count on it. We didn't really know what to expect. We were pleasantly surprised to find there was plenty of free parking, even though we arrived a little bit later in the morning, and two of the lots are in reasonable proximity to the trails and the roadway loops throughout the park. Restrooms were conveniently located in the nature center near where we parked, so that was definitely my first stop. Colorado Springs is one of the jewels of the state of Colorado with an elevation of just over 6,000 feet. It qualifies as one of the nation's tallest cities. Located about one and one half hour drive time just south of Denver, its topography contains rugged terrain to soaring mountain peaks. Colorado Springs is nestled near the base of Pikes Peak, which rises 14,115 feet above sea level just on the eastern edge of the Rocky Mountains. Did you know that it was a tourist named Catherine Lee Bates, after being inspired by the views from Pikes Peak, wrote a poem which later became the song, America the Beautiful. On our ride today, we will be riding on a loop consisting of a nicely paved road. This roadway gently winds through the massive, jagged red rock spires that emerge from the ground and reach up to 300 feet in height. These are the famous monoliths that comprise the Garden of the Gods. On our path, we met many people from locals to regulars to tourists. Other cyclists making this journey were mostly friendly, kind people. Several cyclists on a human-only powered bike asked us, usually on the steeper inclines, if we had electric assist on our recumbent trikes. They stated that that looked like a really good option that they may be considering in the near future. While Gary and I did use our e-assist capability on the steeper inclines, we continued to pedal using as much of our own power as we possibly could.
Be sure to stop on the pullover scenic outlook areas and take lots of photos if you come. We met so many nice folks there. Many were quite curious about our fat tad recumbent trikes. We had great conversations, learned about new cycling trails in the area, and we made new friends, all with a common love for cycling. Along the way, we met a wonderful older couple. They were so in love. Now, how do I know this, you may ask? Well, he was on foot, pushing his wife's wheelchair all the way up the steep inclines. I asked him how did he handle the rapid declines, and did his wife's wheelchair ever get away from him? With a broad, slow grin, he said, I zigzag all the way down.
As you can see here on this loop, you can suddenly pick up a lot of speed. So be sure to slow down, brake appropriately, and stay safe. Now here's where I have a few cautions for you. There are signs everywhere to keep everyone going the same direction. Most of the folks on the road abided by those signs. However, a few pedestrians and a few cyclists were going the wrong direction, coming up the declines when everyone else was going down. Please be alert for those people and watch for children and pets which have gotten away from their group. We saw three dogs on leash walking up the wrong side of the road. Remember, everyone is to go the same direction the entire loop. Some cyclists were going way too fast on the decline and barely missed pedestrians and some of us cyclists. A lady took her child out of the stroller and just walked away, leaving the empty stroller in the middle of the roadway. So just a few cautions if you ever do decide to attend this wonderful event. Near the end of our ride, as we're completing the downhill portion of this loop, we came across a set of barricades meant to slow down everyone coming off of this downhill portion. So I would advise just going super slow as you approach the barricades because you're going to need to make an immediate left and an immediate right, another immediate left to negotiate those barricades. Kudos and many thanks to the park employees and volunteers who were so friendly, full of energy, and kindly assisting all of us to make this a safe and fun event for everyone. They were absolutely great. Colorado Springs is definitely a must-see destination for cycling, hiking, and quite a few other adventures as well. It's known for its breathtaking beauty, majestic vistas, outdoor attractions, and its very active place in Western U.S. history. I've included the links in the description for the Garden of the Gods and some bicycle trails for Colorado Springs. Since this is a new channel, 
YouTube is telling me that I cannot place a clickable link in my description until I have at least a couple months of video history. So hopefully you can at least copy and paste the info that I have included. Near the Nature Center trailhead, there is a great place for a photo op. There's a large rock which says Garden of the God. Someone has chipped out the S in Gods, so it now reads Garden of the God, which I think is much more fitting for this majestic place. Although we didn't have any time to go there, BJ and Joe Ondo of Out and About on the Recumbents channel talk about the Garden of the Gods trading post. It contains both a gift shop and a restaurant, so be sure to stop by if you get a chance and get some great souvenirs. Also, be sure to watch BJ and Joe Ondo's YouTube channel. Again, the name is Out and About on the Recumbents. They are local to Colorado Springs and regularly upload really great Colorado Springs uh, trail videos. Hey guys, it's Jeannie the Grizzly Granny. If you found value in this video or if you enjoyed it just a little bit, please like, subscribe, and smash that bell so you're notified when I upload any new content. Until next time, happy trails and be safe out there.